So Tech Majin Vegeta. This is a bit of a weird unit. The first reason why I am saying that is because he goes from super tech into extreme tech. And that can actually provide issues if you are running him on a typing leader skill. Like you're running him on like a super tech leader skill and he transforms he no longer gets that super tech leader skill it was so weird why didn't they just make him an extreme tech unit i just i literally did not understand at the time that is honestly my biggest issue with this unit that and the fact that he is super key hungry six orbs is not common at all for a unit of this caliber like him sitting right next to majin Vegeta, for example guys guess what he needs orbs and he needs orbs. So, how are we, we going to do this? You're giving it to Int Majorjita, who is a better tank than him. Or you're going to give it to this guy? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you. That's up to you. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Dev. Back with another one of these Dokkan Battle videos. Today, we're going to talk about Tech Majin Vegeta. So, this is a unit that came out alongside the uh, Int Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. A day after Christmas on JP, which is very, very interesting because I do not remember these units coming out December 26th of 2019. So those two dropped as a dual Dokkan Fest a day after Christmas. So I guess that's Dokkan's little late Christmas present. So yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about Tech Mod Vegeta. So Tech Mod Vegeta is a unit that came out. This unit came out before. This unit came out before the Extreme Sewer Bad Road meta. Yes, along with Goku. So this unit was a long event meta unit so the Le legendary goku event meta so how does this unit perform during the legendary goku event meta it took me a little long to think about that because i remember that 2019 was the stacking meta so for legendary goku event i feel like this unit actually performed quite well because if he would go ahead and transform what she did which is very easy because all you had to do was go up against one enemy whose hp is 80 percent or more at the third term start of battle so if you go ahead and kill off the enemy this guy was on rotation he would transform almost immediately so majin vegeta what made him so good for the legendary goku event was the fact that he guarded when he got six orbs but the only weird thing was that six orbs was not always guaranteed because you would specifically need a orb changer. You, you would definitely need an orb changer for this guy. I really feel like this guy should have been orb changer. They really missed the opportunity to do that. But yeah, six orbs, and this guy would guard against the hardest hitting super int boss in the game, that being int UI Goku. And he would do relatively well. But if he did not get those six orbs, this guy would get you completely lambasted because he is extreme tech. Int UI Goku is super int. What do you think is gonna happen? This guy is it's deaf. He's he's done. Yes, he's done. So I think he performed quite alright. Although, what was his best linking partners back in 2019? It's like he had this guy, but he didn't get his easy A yet. He had the tech monster Vegeta, but the problem was is that he would go ahead and transform and then the the friend will transform too, so really you had two Majin Vegeta's anyway, so this was not happening. Uh, what other units were out at the time? I mean, transforming Vegeta? <laughs> yes, let me go ahead and double check something real quick. So transforming Vegeta is a what? What year did transforming Vegeta come out in? I do not remember. I just need to yeah recoup myself. He had. The same day of 2019 is when Transformer Vegeta did come out. So, yeah, his best link opponents were not really there. It's like he, he had LR AGL Gohan. Cool, he had LR Majin Vegeta, but his EZA wasn't out at the time. It's like link opponents were honestly a little bit MIA because it's like these guys. I mean, eh, eh. It's like, eh. It's like this guy right next to this guy. You would go ahead and literally steal this guy's orbs. You would steal his orbs and give it to him. <laughs> That's the funny thing about this uh, STR Mod Vegeta, yeah? And also, he had the Int Super Saiyan 2 that goes to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, yes. So, yeah, these two actually work relatively well with one another because even pre and post transformation, they would share a couple of links. Now, let me go up to Majin Vegeta because he's going to be the focus of the video more so than his pre transformation, right? So, Majin Vegeta is where? Where is Majin Vegeta? I think I scrolled over him. There he is, he's right over here. So yeah, Int Majin Vegeta obviously is best link partner. Uh, where is that Super Saiyan 3 Goku? He does not share that main link to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. 
he only shares where is he's right over here he only shares four links super saiyan over in the flash fierce battle supreme power okay so that's 30 percent attack five percent defense and three keys so you need a three key to super attack so yes i mean for the legend of Goku, this guy could work the only thing was that he really needed those six orbs to guard if he did not guard you will be killed and it was just that simple he also gained more defense the lower your hp was so him and that in Super Saiyan 3 Goku did have the LR in Cell sort of passive where they gain more stats depending on where your HP was at. So that was definitely interesting. So how does this guy perform in today's Red Zone slash 200% leader skill meta? So this guy is on quite a bit of 200% leader skills, you know? So he is on Resurrected Wars does not have one. Boo Saga does have one with that Int Monster Cheetah. So he's on Int Monster Cheetah's 200% leader skill because obviously he is a gifted warrior. Yes, of course, he's on it. Monster Cheetah's from Cedar's I mean, what a surprise. Pure Sands only has Space Shopping Warriors, and clearly he is not a Space Shopping Warrior. Uh, Cheetah's family, already went over that. Uh, for Worthy Rivals, though. Worthy Rivals. Hmm, let me go and double check this real quick. It does have a Gamma 1 and 2 in there, but obviously he is not a movie hero, and he is not on Special Pose or any of the other teams. Let me just go ahead and take a quick look. He's not on, on uh, the Artificial Life Forms team, obviously, so he's not on Gamma 1 Zeta skill. And for Gamma 2, let me just go ahead and take a quick, a, a quick double check. He's not on Special Pose, not on Androids, not a movie hero, so he's not on either of those teams either. I just had to double check. I, do, I never remember Gamma 2's Zeta skill. So, for Super Saiyan 2... Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, it's just him. Super Saiyan 2 definitely needs a new leader skill for sure. Uh, Corroded Body and Mind. He is on that texture number one, seven percent across the board team. But Corroded Body and Mind does not have a 200% leader skill as of yet. If I do remember correctly, as I've already checked the leader skills already. Uh, get the Warriors. Obviously, Mass Evolution does have a 200% leader skill with that RF Blue. So he's on the RF Blues 200% leader skill because this is a pure Saiyan. Yeah. So he's on Mass Evolution, the pure Saiyan's 200% leader skill for the uh, RF Blues. And he's on a 200% leader skill with the Int Majin Vegeta. So him being on two 200% leader skills, you're more than likely to run this Tech Majin Vegeta on Int Majin Vegeta's team because, guys, they share literally everything for one another. They are perfect linking partners. Look, look at that. Look at that. 87% attack, 10% defense, and five key really it's like yeah <laughs> they're perfect link opponents they share every single link so how this unit will perform inside this is a this isn't a good rotation inside the red zone because these two need six key it's like this guy needs six key to get his damage reduction up to 50 percent because he gains 30 percent from having a trunks on the team and more of a 20 percent when he gains six key right over here so he needs the six orbs more than he does because guys even pre and post super attack this guy can get you killed on a super right it's like this guard is cool but the issue is, is that this rotation is way too much of a liability inside the red zone because they both need key and you know what happens when two units need their key it is not a very it's not a very fluent rotation because if he now had he created like rainbow orbs or something then this would be much more feasible but this guy is creating his own orbs and he needs his own orbs yes it's like you're more than likely to run in Majin Vegeta because he's a better tank. He's like sitting over like 350k defense, 400k defense with 50% damage reduction provided you get his key. But then this guy over here is just like, oh, okay, 120% attack and defense. That's cool. And he gains more attack and defense as his HP fluctuates. So this guy missing his, he, if he misses his six key, he's dead. This is too inconsistent. It's like for the red zone, you can go ahead and make it work for like the earlier to like the later stages. Sure, you like quote unquote get by, but guess what, guys? Uh, Majin Vegeta is not really, it's not really a consistent option. Now, could you bring this duo into Broly? Because, oh, no, let me go ahead and just close it out. I want to click on another window on accident. I've been doing that in a lot of videos. I don't know why I've been doing that. But yeah. Could you bring this duo into Broly? It's like I always bring up like the first two uh, sort of like red zone stages instead of bringing up like Wicked Bloodline or like the Red Ribbon Army ones. But like the Red Ribbon Army ones, we haven't got enough time to test out these stages. So I'm not going to go ahead and bring this one up right now anyways. And for the Wicked Bloodline red zone, it's like, eh, sure, I could talk about it for the Wicked Bloodline red zone. It's like he could probably work for Cooler. But Cooler hits way too hard anyways and would probably kill off Majin Vegeta. Yes, it's like Majin Vegeta. It's like he's, it's like the the orbs are just a the, the orbs are a super big issue for Majin Vegeta. It's like sure he's type advantage against Metal Cooler, which is a very tough red zone stage, but 
listen, it's like, is it really worth, it, like, bringing this guy over, like, any of the other guys of Bond, a parent, and child? Like, let's just be... Well, he's not a Bond, a parent, and child. Yeah, he's not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they, they don't count the... They don't count the Majin Jita versus Super Saiyan 2 Goku fight as Bond, a parent, and child. Wait a minute, that makes me wonder. Is that in Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Bond, a parent, and child? He... He is! <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm not going to complain about a category. But yeah, for this guy, for Broly, as I was saying before I went off on a little bit of a tangent. It's like this guy for Broly, it's like... Uh, I feel like this guy would still get you killed in Broly. I still feel as with I'm gonna try them today. I'm gonna try this today. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try out this rotation today. Because this is this is something I need to test. But like I said for the red zone slash two arms to leader skills, it's like would you really it's like his leader skill is not already the craziest anyway. Vegeta's family and Boo Saga. It's like cool you have like Vegeta and Trunks. Just gonna take a look at what Vegeta's family has. It's like it's like you have Imaji who's like cool, then you have like this this LR base form Vegeta, you have Vegeta and Trunks, you have LR Super Saiyan form Vegeta who you're not bringing aside Broly because Broly would instantly body him. We have EB who's definitely a, a bit of a solid option. Who else do we have? Is that really is that it? I'm I'm looking I'm overlooking some people, am I? It's like Vegeta's family is not the crazy, like this metal cooler Vegeta solid. But yeah, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it hundred with you guys. His leader skill sucks. Usaka's dead and Vegeta's family's not the craziest. And at 30% to get the war is that's alright. That's alright and all, but like guys, <laughs> this is this is not a great leader skill. So like running these two with each other in the red zone is just not it's not effective. I'm just gonna say that alright. This is not an effective rotation for the red zone because it's like you need six orbs, but I don't know where you're gonna get the six orbs. And then you need six orbs also, but like you're you're more worth to get the six orbs anyways because you get 50% damage reduction. So, yeah, with him being more defensively sound than this guy, why would you ever want to run this guy right next to this guy unless you're using him as a link battery? That, that's really it. it this, the red zone rotation will not work. So what is good about Tech Majin Vegeta? So what is good about Tech Majin Vegeta? Honestly, I feel like what is good about him is the fact that he does have a... He does have good super attack effects pre and post transformation. 30% defense inside his 12 key for his pre transformation, and he gains 50% defense and uh, gains a 50% chance of stun. So that could be useful for battle. So he does have uh, solid super attack effects for his pre and post transformation. And uh, what else is good about this guy? I feel as if though his transformation is actually okay too. I mean, going against one enemy, his HP is 80% or more after the third turn. It's actually solid. So you get them transformed immediately. It's like their transformation conditions are actually his transformation condition is actually good with a good super attack effect, but like I don't know, man. I don't know. I think that that that's all that's really it. It's like his defense could look actually quite it could look quite solid pre-transformation, but then like post-transformation, this guy really just wow. I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about what's bad about this guy. Because I feel as though this guy only has two good things that's good about him. That being his super attack effects pre and post transformation. And his transformation condition is actually quite okay. But like what's bad about this unit. To be completely honest with you guys. Is it's like. Okay. Pre transformation. I'm completely fine with this. His, his passive is actually alright. But post transformation. Why is he not creating his own orbs? It's like you go ahead and make him. Effective against all types with three key spheres obtained and guard with six more key spheres obtained. But the problem is, is that six key spheres is not always guaranteed, especially if you aren't creating your own orbs. A unit I was talking about with my boy yesterday, right? Let me go ahead and go over to Fierce Battle. A unit where the design of getting stronger with more key spheres obtained is good would have to be this guy. Where is he? He's, he's Fierce Battle. Where is he? There he is. It would have to be this guy. So, it's like, this guy gets stronger with more key spheres obtained, and he creates rainbow orbs. Yes? So, why in the hell is this guy not doing the same thing? It's like, he definitely needs it. Would he be too strong if he created his own rainbow orbs to guard with? It's like, guys. Cool. It's like, why not? Come on, because he gains 50% defense one turn. Imagine he double supers with his guard. He'll look defensively sound. Dokkan, what was you thinking? The design of not 
having a unit create their own key spirits to buff their own passive is terrible. That and going off the fact that this guy goes from prepare for battle into over in a flash. Prepare for battle from over into over in a flash is terrible because over in a flash is a dead link right now we are not inside 2018 we're not inside 2019 we're not inside 2020 we do not praise over in a flash after the 50th anniversary was all said and done with over in a flash hit the ground faster than an airplane that it went into, into the ocean for the bermuda triangle this is a bad link over in a flash sucks guys it sucks listen after the 50th anniversary and repeat it again this link over in a flash this link got flushed down the toilet done we want a meta links like cold judgment prepare for battle we want the same lineage we want like all these just these better links to run and be more consistent with these units because guess what look at over in a flash this link sucks i've talked about this link time and time again this link is trash it's a trash link it's a very trash and niche link that you will rarely ever get up three key and seven percent attack well this is not three key and seven percent attack and defense you guys know what three you guys know what is three key and seven percent attack and defense it's a way better link. Tournament of Power. Tournament of Power is, look, 3 key and 7% attack and defense. This is a better version of Over in a Flash. I do not understand this. So the first issue, the fact that he he is super key hungry because he's basically a, he's like a Janemba with his guard slash Gogeta with his feathering of all types. So like, he's like a bit of a blend of Gogeta and Janemba. Cool. But he doesn't create his own orbs. He goes from Prepare for Battle into Over in a Flash, which is definitely terrible. I don't know why I didn't just leave him with Prepare for Battle over in a Flash like that in Goku. And Goku could have Prepare for Battle over in a Flash too. So it's like he doesn't create his own orbit support, his own passive. He struggles for key crazy. He goes from Prepare for Battle to over in a Flash, which is a terrible just design. And the fact that he goes from super class into extreme class. What were they thinking with this guy? What were they thinking? <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't know. My... This, this unit is just, I don't know what in God's name they were doing with this unit, but I think that's really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys think that's, I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Man, I'm fumbling. Peace.